Arizona and all the cities here are great and a lot of people love it, but it is not the right place for everyone. And while there are a ton of people moving to Arizona every day, there's also a lot of people leaving Arizona and why they are leaving is what we're gonna be covering in this video today. We have a ton to cover, so let's go ahead and do this. If you want to know everything there is to know about moving to and living in Arizona and all the amazing cities and areas here, then go ahead and subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about what is happening here in the Arizona market. My name is Samantha. I'm a local real estate agent and my team and I help people every single day just like you make their move to Arizona. Phoenix, all the beautiful surrounding areas. We absolutely love it. So if you are thinking of making a move, if you have questions, if you wanna see if Arizona is the right move for you, or maybe not based on this video, then go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, hop on a Zoom call with us. All the links to connect with us are down below. Whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, we are here and happy to help. So like I said today, we are talking about the reasons people are leaving Arizona. Now, disclaimer, more people are moving to Arizona every day than leaving, but there are a lot of people leaving. Arizona is beautiful, I'm biased, I live here, I love it. It, lived here my whole life. I am a local and a native here, but it's not for everybody. There's a lot of reasons that sometimes Arizona is just not the right fit. So we're going to cover all those reasons right now. As a quick disclaimer, I know I said it before, but I'm saying it again. There are technically more people moving to Arizona every single day than there are leaving, but people are still living in Arizona. Arizona is not the best fit for everyone. So first on our list, there's not like a really fancy, great way to say it other than it's really hot. It's, it's the weather. Arizona is a desert, uh, specifically the Phoenix Metro and all the surrounding areas. It is really hot, it is very dry. It's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit here for several months in a row in the summer. It is just brutal. When you walk outside, it does feel like you're walking into an oven. Now, it's not too humid, which is like the one same years, but it's still really hot. Most people don't wanna hang out in like 115 degree weather <laughs> for multiple months on end. Now, if you still wanna to try to live in Arizona and find a workaround for that, for us locals who stay here year round, we just stay inside. It's kind of like our version of a brutal winter. Like, you know how in Minnesota, when it's winter, you just like stay inside, you don't go outside that much. Same thing here in the summers. Stay inside, stay in the AC. A lot of people have pools. There's like 50% of the homes here have pools. If you do want to get outside, go for a hike, do stuff and everything like that outdoors, do it in the morning uh, before the sun, <laughs> before the sun gets up and it gets too hot and stuff like that. Or if you want to work around, you can live here most of the year and in the summer, do the snowbird thing. A lot of people will actually have a secondary home, a vacation home, something like that, and they get out of here for the summers. They go live somewhere else where it's uh, a little bit cooler, a little bit more bearable. I'm a local here, native, born, raised, lived here my whole life. I still am not super used to the summers. I don't love them. Like nobody, nobody that I really know likes 120 degree weather, um, but you get through it. You get through those, you know, three or four months of brutal heat and the rest of the year is pretty great. So eh, in the end for me, it's worth it, but for a lot of people, it's not. So that's why a lot of people end up leaving. It's just that brutal heat. Reason number two is that it has grown here a lot. It's not as relaxing and affordable as it used to be here in Arizona. A majority of the towns and cities here in Arizona have grown so much over the past 10 to 20 years. Uh, it is a lot more people. It's a lot more traffic. The cost of living and housing has gone up drastically, specifically in the past 10 years. And the idea of Arizona and especially like Phoenix and the metro areas here all around this main central Arizona area of being super, super cheap and super affordable, that's not really a thing anymore. Now, yes, we're more affordable than California or a lot of places on the East Coast, but relative to what it used to cost to live here and housing and everything, it's a lot more expensive. So because of that, some people are choosing to leave Arizona just because the cost of living, the amount of traffic, the amount of people has gone up so much in the past years. So if you're wanting to get out and go somewhere where there's not as many people, parts of Kansas, Texas, Minnesota, South Dakota, places like that, you can absolutely escape uh, some of the people. You can find a lot more affordable living and housing, but you have to deal with those brutal winters. So weigh the pros and cons. Number four is lack of history and culture. Now, disclaimer, this is not one that I, I personally don't agree with this one, but this is something that people have mentioned to me a lot as their decision to leave Arizona. Arizona itself is actually a fairly new state. Uh, we became a state 
with the U.S. in February. It was February 14th, 1912, exactly. Uh, so we're not that old of a state compared to a lot of the rest of the country. And Phoenix itself really didn't start growing until the 60s and 70s. That's where it really started to boom and grow because things like AC and garages and everything made it actually livable here because of that heat. And so we really haven't been that big of a city. We haven't been around as a state that long. And so there is not a huge amount of history and culture for the state of Arizona itself. There's not a lot of older homes and neighborhoods with a lot of character. If you find a home here, that's from like the 1930s or the 1940s, like that's crazy. Like that's ancient for a home here in Arizona. Whereas in other states, you could easily have a home that's 150 or 200 years old. We just don't have that here. We're not uh, not that old of a state. There is a lot of rich history and culture because I mean, the land here in Arizona, the people here have been here for hundreds of years. So there is incredible culture. We actually have a lot of museums dedicated to that. But I think the way that some people think of history and culture itself, they just don't feel like Arizona has that because we're technically really not that old, if that makes sense. Like I said, this isn't one I really agree with. I think Arizona is incredibly diverse and rich. We're kind of a melting pot of cultures and there's a lot of culture, there is a lot of history. You just need to actually go out there and find it. All right, number four is crime. Now surprisingly, the crime in Arizona hasn't really gone up that much in past years. It stayed level and in some cities it's actually gone down a little bit in the past years. But with the influx of people, with more people being here, more reports and everything like that, people being more on top of the statistics and everything, feel free to go check it out. There's a ton of sites where you can look up crime statistics if that is something that is important to you. Always be informed, always know what's going on in any cities or areas that you're considering living in or moving to. But crime here is something that people have cited as a reason for leaving. But just like any city or any state or location, it depends where you're at. If you're going to be in South Phoenix or Southwest Phoenix, the crime may, may be a little bit higher than if you were living in North Phoenix where it may not be as much of an issue. There are definitely certain areas where the crime and statistics are higher. So like I said, use those sites that report it, that show the maps, that have that information, be informed and know those areas. And if you're looking for an area that's lower in crime or that's safer, make sure you do your research to find out where those areas are. Like I said, location matters, which are true of any state or city in the US. The next one that some people have cited is health issues. Like I said, it's very, very hot here. Uh, so if, if your body, if your health issue that you're dealing with does not do well in a very hot, very dry climate, it may not be super great for you. There are, I know some people with asthma sometimes have difficulty in a drier climate. It's very, very dry here. We are a desert. It's also very dusty. Uh, so depending on what type of health issues you're dealing with, Arizona may not be the best place for you. And some people have left due to those health concerns. As we've become a lot more populated and there's a lot more traffic, our air quality is not great uh, as well. You can see, especially on those days, we're like a hot desert and the air just kind of sits. Sometimes it's windy, occasionally we'll get rain, which will help with the air quality. But when you're driving towards downtown Phoenix, you can kind of see as that air is sitting, you can kind of just see the, the smog and stuff. It's not as bad as like LA, sorry LA, no shade. <laughs> But uh, we're not quite that bad with the air quality as we're continuing to grow and have a lot more people, a lot more traffic and everything here, the air quality is starting to be a concern as well. But a pro that kind of goes hand in hand with that is our healthcare system is really phenomenal. We have some of the best and highest rated hospitals and healthcare facilities in the country. We have Mayo Clinic, we have Ironwood Cancer Centers, we have Phoenix Children's Hospital. So a lot of people actually come here for the incredible treatment and healthcare that can be provided here. It just depends on your health, your situation, whether or not it's a good fit, but some people are choosing to leave because of that. Our next one is that people say there's not a lot to do in Arizona. Now, this is another one I personally really don't agree with, <laughs> but it depends on what you want to do and where you're looking for those activities. Now, Arizona is really diverse. We have kind of this dry desert area, but if you go an hour or two hours north, you're in the forest with pine trees and incredible hiking. You have the red rocks up in Sedona, you have the Grand Canyon. So if you want to do hiking, if you like the outdoors, if you like camping, um, if you like climbing, I don't know, cliffs and stuff like that, we have a lot of cool stuff to do here for outdoorsy people. If you love the food scene, like myself, I'm obsessed with food. <laughs> if you want some incredible food, both the, the high dining the hole in the wall mom and pop shops. There's an amazing food scene here and not a lot of people know of it. Phoenix is kind of a hidden gem when it comes to all the incredible uh, diverse culture for food here and it is 
phenomenal. We've got um, a bunch of food fairs, festivals, food trucks. You have First Fridays in downtown Phoenix, which started as kind of an art festival. It's now kind of become a bit of a <laughs> food festival as well, which is incredible. So there's amazing uh, things to do and food to be found here. There's huge events every year. We have the Phoenix Open, which is a huge international golf competition. We have the Barrett Jackson Car Show, Arabian Horse Show. We have things all throughout the winter. We've got spring training. There's a ton to do. So if you like sports, if you like nightlife, if you like dancing, if you like music, art, culture, whatever it is you're looking for, other than a beach, we have it. Can't do anything about the beaches. We are landlocked, sorry people, but we are getting a man-made beach sometime in the next year or two. So stay tuned for that. But there is so much to do here. So like I said, okay, I kind of got off track here. A lot of people feel like there's not a lot to do. It depends on what you're interested in, what your hobbies are, what activities you want to do. So if you are passionate about uh, having things to do and having things you enjoy doing, Arizona should have what you're looking for, but just make sure you're looking in the right part of Arizona to find those things. All right, next reason people leave, the people in Arizona, us. We apparently are the reason some people leave. Now, again, these are not my personal views. It is what people are telling me uh, as we either survey them or ask them when they're leaving Arizona. But there is uh, very strong political views here on both sides um, and everything in between. So depending on where you fall on the political spectrum, people here tend to be pretty vocal about what they think in politics, uh, especially in certain parts of towns and certain parts of Arizona. They have very strong political views and they will let you know about it. So that can be a reason, uh, depending on which side you fall on politics. There is also a bit of a stigma towards California. Now, again, this is not me personally, but some people don't appreciate that a lot of people from California have uh, come in. Now, since homes are a lot more expensive in California when they sell their homes there, they have a lot more money here. And so uh, as people have kind of come here in waves from California, um, some of the property values here have gone up. That's not just due to California. So I'm not blaming you California, but unfortunately, a lot of people here uh, feel that way. And sometimes they cannot be super welcoming to Californians. So. Like I said, it's not, <laughs> I don't think so, but a lot of people do feel that way. So those people are few and far between the grouches, the grumpies. You're always gonna have people who are just grumpy and unhappy and you just, nah, you can't avoid those people no matter where you go in this country, there will be some unkind, unhappy people. But for the most part, the majority of the information I've heard from people who have relocated here from all over the country is that people here are really friendly and nice and welcoming. Uh, the service industry is great. People on the street are really nice. People in neighborhoods are nice. I think it's because we have great weather and we get a lot of like vitamin D and sunshine and we just like are happy because it's not rainy and gloomy all the time. I don't know if that's true, but it's just more laid back, sunny, bright lifestyle here. And I think that shows through in the personalities of people. For the most part, people here in Arizona, very kind, very great, very welcoming. There are some jerks. You can't avoid them. It's just part of life. But for the most part, the people here I think are great. However, this is about what people are leaving. So people do cite uh, politics and people's attitudes here for a reason for leaving every now and then. All right, our last one is the weather. And this is not actually about the heat, but people want four seasons. Now, surprisingly, you can actually get four seasons here. Not a lot of people know that, but in Arizona, you can get the four seasons. If you want the beautiful colorful fall, if you go up to Sedona or Prescott or Flagstaff, you're gonna see the fall colors. You're gonna have snowy winters, green, sunny summers. So you actually can get four seasons here but not in Phoenix or the main Phoenix metro areas in that central Arizona. You are gonna have to go a couple hours north or south to be able to really get those four seasons. So if you're wanting to live in the main metro of Phoenix, you're not gonna have the four seasons. The way you can get around that is do what me and my family do. When I wanna see the fall colors, I drive up to Prescott for a day or two, kind of enjoy the fall, get a little Instagram picture, do some pumpkin carving, you know, do some hikes and everything. And then we always do a snow day or two as well. In the winter, we'll go up to Prescott or Flagstaff, enjoy the snow. That's always a lot of fun, but then I get sick of it after a day or two and come back down here where I don't have to deal with the snow. So if you are wanting four seasons, you can get that in Arizona, but only specific parts of Arizona. So just be aware of that. People think Arizona just looks like Phoenix or Tucson where it's just like brown desert, and dirt and stuff like that. And it doesn't actually have some really beautiful uh, weather and nature all throughout Arizona. Like I said, it's a very diverse state. You can kind of get a little bit of everything 
except the beach, of course. Uh, but you really can get all four seasons if you want it. Parts of here have that. Okay, well, there is our list of the top reasons that people are leaving Arizona. Now, for some of you, these reasons might be enough to maybe make Arizona not the right place for you, but there are a lot of workarounds for this. Like we said, if you want the seasons, you can go up north. Uh, if you want the affordability, some parts of Arizona are more affordable than others. If you don't like the heat, be a snowbird and leave for the summer. There's workarounds with the, with everything. So if Arizona you think might be right for you, or if you're still not sure and you want to find out, go ahead and give us a call. We'd love to chat, help you make that move if you think that is what you want to do, or answer more questions to decide if Arizona is going to be the right move for you. So. Hopefully this list helped, helped you understand a little bit more about Arizona, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And until next time, we'll see you soon.